We're here in Missouri at the Swisher Inc. facility because we were invited to do not only a behind the scenes tour of the manufacturing facility here, but also their factory outlet right down the street. The guys not familiar with Swisher, they manufacture commercial grade outdoor power equipment right here in the United States of America. I gotta be honest, the guy did bring a trailer and might could leave with a new piece of equipment. Nope, probably too. Great. All right, let's go meet these folks. I'm really excited to see all these machines are put together. They manufacture everything right here, all the way down to the powder coating, as I understand it. So we're gonna meet up with Scott real quick, and he's gonna actually walk us through the whole facility side, the manufacturing side of the facility. And then here in a little bit, we're gonna go over to the Swisher factory outlet and actually see the completed products here in a little bit. Our powder coat system here at Swisher, uh, the parts go through powder coat and when they come out of powder coat, they're all on this same assembly line that's running at a certain speed. And we present the parts through the powder coat as we want the assemblers to, to work on that. So they're coming off in the right order and everything. Coming in the right order and they're presented in an ergonomic fashion so that they can uh, work on them easily. Very cool. And you do all the powder coating right here in house? Yes. Oh, I can hear the oven yeah, cooking. I can hear though. the oven back in there. Wow. So the powder coat is not paint, it's plastic. It's plastic powder in very fine plastic pellets. It's sprayed onto the part. The part has a slight negative charge, it's grounded. This whole line is grounded. The paint has a slight positive charge when it comes out of the gun and that causes that powder to stick to the part. It stays stuck to the part as it goes through the oven. The oven gels the plastic and it just completely encapsulates the metal. Can I take a closer look at one of yeah. these? So these are fresh right out of the oven. And they look fantastic. There's a mower deck right there. I think they actually stopped the assembly line here for us, which is really cool. They're gonna go get this feller and I think he's actually gonna do some powder coating right now for us. Does that sound cool? You guys wanna see that? Yeah. Yeah? I've never seen this done. I love it. They make all this stuff right here in house. This is 11 gauge steel right here. This is a powder reclaim booth, so when they spray here, these filters suck in the excess and it's recycled in the system and reused because a lot of material used in this is very expensive and then this is more of a spray to waste booth and they do some different colors in here and then that's swept up and taken care of in the correct fashion but here's that assembly line kind of reminds me of like old school dry cleaners kind of yeah. thing yeah. Terry, how's it going? Good, this is our master painter. Yeah, master painter, cool. How long have you been doing this? 17 years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have this down to an art then, don't you? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet if I sprayed one, I'd miss 30% of all the nooks and crannies. It is and, an art. Yeah. It really takes expertise. They're getting fixed up and ready here. This is gonna be really interesting. This feller's working on the underside there. And then how long do they sit in the oven after they come out of the... It has to be around 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So we, we base this line speed on how the length of the oven so that it's in there long enough to be at that temperature and cure. Okay. two assembly lines. One is the main line that the trolley system is on. And then this we call line two. This is for like boxed items, smaller items. Okay. And we assemble them, box them, crate them, put them right in the warehouse. 
This is a giant, giant laser. Cutting out parts. You said five by 10 foot sheets? Five by 10 foot sheets, 4,000 watts. Wow. Look how clean all those cuts are. Isn't that cool? Oh, super neat. That just blows my mind. I, yeah. It's like really, really precise. And it starts over here. These sheets here. I reckon picks it up, brings it over here and drops her down. Yeah. And this is where you do all the bleep looping, set yeah. it up. There and over here. That one controls the programming and the cutting and this one controls the movement of the sheet. Oh, okay. So programming is actually back here. Yeah, I have no idea how to run any of that stuff. There is keys though, so that's good. Yeah. You guys are all about saving time and production, I can see that. And reducing scrap. Yeah. Because this nest, and it can cut any shape without tools or setup time, it saves 20 to 25 percent in scrap versus the older machines over there. Oh. So right now these sheets are changing. That one's completed. It's going to swap these out. Oh yeah, the bottom one just shot into the laser. It's a lot faster than I imagined. slightly tabbed in every so often so they come in here and break all these out and waste goes away but you can see there's very very little waste in all these different mower parts in here the cuts are just i don't know i am completely mind bottled here's some mower decks over here look how thick these are these are three sixteenths of an inch heavy duty steel and this is before they're bent up and welded here. And then over here is their weld shop. The majority of their stuff is all hand welded. Right here. Very cool. They're obviously not in today. But I imagine this is very, very busy typically. And they do have one robot laser back here we call it the wally laser huh that you want to show us yeah. <laughs> there he is so that's cool they jig everything up in here and this guy just <laughs> i mean i don't know how fast he is but i imagine you're pretty fast ain't you got one piece left on here pretty precise I actually do really enjoy the fact though that they got fellers out here on the floor actually hand welding these. It's kind of old school, but you know you're getting hands-on, eyes-on quality in all these welds. That's really cool. So how many welding stations do you have total here? We have 24 boots. How much steel do you think they weld in pounds? That's a hard question. That's a hard question. Thousands a day. Thousands a Thousands day. Thousands of pounds a day. We were just chatting about some of this stuff. And uh, you call them fixtures, right? They're welding fixtures. So they're kind of blueprints or plans. And a lot of these parts go all the way back to the 60s. So and it has a part number on it. Oh, 
there is a lot of them so you buy a swisher product they're going to be able to service it or get you parts it's not something that you just buy and some other folks say good luck or they don't sell the parts after a handful of years the shelf goes way way back in fact you even mentioned earlier you reverse engineered a part for a guy yes just so he can keep his machine going yes it was so old we didn't have a drawing for it that's crazy very cool boop, boop. if all these parts could talk think about all the fellers that built and welded and you name it so this is a 12 foot 200 ton brake metal comes in over here i'll show you in a little bit comes through here well i think it gets cut then it comes over here it gets bent these are bent decks that haven't been welded yet and this is a really cool design everything gets folded over and from my perspective kind of limits the amount of welding you got to do which makes it stronger and then goes back through that chain all the way forward through powder coating assembly and then eventually back out the same door it came in through so that's pretty cool so you can do a lot of these decks same day come yeah. in raw steel they come out in a crate they could be run that way yeah so here is a giant turret punch he's going to show us how it works in here so what do we got going on in here these are all the tools of the different style punches it takes to make a deck and it also does forming on the deck put ribs in, stiff in certain areas, whatever is required in the design. So this just simply rotates, punches, rotates? It rotates and the, the CNC puts the correct punch up in the front underneath the punching mechanism and then punches the sheet there. The head up here moves the sheet around. Oh yeah, sure enough, I see like a corkscrew 300 down there or something. How quickly can I punch out a deck? Do the rough cut decks on here and it's one about every two minutes. Oh my goodness, two minutes it'll punch out one of those. That's a lot faster than me and an old torch or chisel and yeah, you gotta have some big machinery to make these lawnmowers. Here's more of the parts room. And I'm assuming you get blades, belts, yeah. small metal pieces. Small blades here. Yeah. All of that. So if you've got a swisher device, they've got covered here. There's Terry. Hey. How's it going? Good. Terry, I like your hat a lot. Yeah. I've got to get me another one. I got to get on there and get me another one ordered. Cause you know what? We'll take care of it. This is my everyday hat. You know, I didn't even know you guys were coming today. Oh, well, and this, we is, this is my everyday hat. Can we get Terry another hat? Absolutely. Jessica we'll will get you a hat, okay? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah we'll no problem. Going. Thanks. Ooh, bearing. So this here is the quality control section. Bill's the boss. And Bill just picks stuff random off the line. And yes. Whole machines, the engines, machine, everything. And he'll check it from top to bottom and it doesn't matter what kind of machine it is zero turn pull behind whatever Log splitter, any of them. i'll be dicked it's like a 19 foot zip tie so here's where some of their steel comes in and i don't know what to call this the american bundle cutter 9000 but basically this will cut instead of one at a time it'll cut a big bundle of pipe or tube or whatever you can see there it cut four at once and depending on the size you can cut an awful lot through here there's a bin over here i can show you look at that cut all those saves a lot of time so when we're saying they make everything right here in missouri they even bring in lumber and build all of their own crates to put their product in to ship out all of it so these here are the welded decks, come back from welding. And they even use cranes here, but crane this up, get them on the hooks. They go around, they go through this bath. It's a three-stage bath. Boop, boop, boop. And then they shoot down to the 
powder coat booth room operator stand there the paint area oven it, it's not a tank it actually sprays it it sprays it sprays from all three sides the top and everything and the four sides that's cool need one of those for the boys <laughs> yeah. more finished parts here stacked up look at all of this kawasaki goodness 24 horse and 14 and a half horse and there's also some Briggs options and Honda options depending on what kind of unit you pick up these are all engines as well here's something they made here again another quality control thing this is uh, basically the engine side or the chassis side of a deck separate so they run this right onto the line attach it to the deck and that's just to test the deck right just to test the deck so it's kind of just something they could throw on there and make sure the decks are coming to the end of assembly correctly so we're actually right across the street from the manufacturing facility which is really cool but they call this sfo or swisher factory outlet they got a bunch of stuff in here and elton and becky are going to give us a tour we got some stuff in the back and then we got some stuff up front here and i think we're going to hear a little bit about the history too so how you doing just fine how are you good elton Derek. Glad, glad to finally meet you today yeah thanks for having us this has been a tremendous amount of fun so far so we just spent a bunch of time in the manufacturing facility and i gotta ask can you give us something about the history it looks like you guys have been around for ever you know we've been around since 1945 the uh, country the company was actually started by a man named max swisher and uh you know he started the business right after you know he was a young man started right after world war ii and a real inventor a real entrepreneur and one of the things that we're really proud of that uh, not many people know is he actually was the first inventor of a zero turn mower. Very first. The very first one. Very so first zero turn. Uh, we actually have one of the early, early models. Uh, they were called Ride King or Big Mo through the years, but, uh, cool. but now you can see what's happened with that. But yeah, we've been around since the 1940s, mid 1940s, and going through you know, a lot of different iterations, but we've always manufactured product in uh, Missouri and uh, still doing it today and uh, you know still making the zero turn mowers doing the log splitters doing the tow behind uh, mower categories we've brought into other categories like uh, security safety tornado shelters things like that and uh, you know i'm really pleased to say that our people are just you know I, I think the greatest people that i could possibly work with i feel lucky every day to have the chance to work with them and uh, you know no place i'd rather be and we're doing very very well as a company and you know, we're uh, gaining market share and doing well and uh, just have a wonderful crew. So we're, I feel very fortunate. It's good to hear. Good to hear, especially today. I met a few folks over there. I think Dan's been here 30 plus yes. years. There's yes. other folks been here a couple decades. Becky that said a, she's been here 13 yeah. years, I think. I wonder when I got to retire, but it doesn't seem like <laughs> nobody, nobody ever retires. So everybody that keeps, says a lot working. about a company and culture when folks want to work and they care right. and they stay. I yeah. heard about your inventory gal crawling under machines oh, looking yeah. for little pieces of uh, She's relentless. Inventory. She is relentless yeah. and if things aren't done, if you mess up her area or work in her area and don't put things back or don't do them perfectly, it's not a pleasant experience for the person. So she's just really <laughs> dedicated and she does a great job for us. That's very cool. But, and I'm, I, you know, as I told you earlier, I'm the uh, only new person really here. I've been with the company now almost 11 years and I'm kind of a newbie. I'm the only newbie member of management and everybody else has been here you know, far longer than I have. Just uh, the, the people here do an outstanding job. That's spectacular. So he watches Bicecript Garage and right. we just started talking through email and he told me about his company, American Made Products, started in Missouri, still in Missouri, and basically everything he just said. And I, I gotta come see this firsthand. And, and he invited us down and it's been a lot of fun, so we appreciate it. And you've got some equipment we're gonna go look at in the yep, back. Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna look at this, the first zero turn. What was it, Ride King? It was Ride King or Big Mo. And again, another claim to fame. Uh, this, this is actually a great, great trivia. Uh, Elvis Presley actually bought one for his mother, believe it or not. And <laughs> That's cool. uh, sent Max Swisher, the inventor, a check and didn't have any idea who Elvis Presley was. So he just went to the bank and cashed it. And the rest is, <laughs> the rest is history. But uh, yeah, it was, it's, we'd love to find that original mower that went to Elvis's mother. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Well. We'll hand them back, and thanks again for having us. We really appreciate it. And Thank you so much. Really look forward to having you guys come down here, and looking forward to showing you, you know, the product that all, all the people work so darn hard on. Cool. Let's go check it out. All right. What's this here? 
Yeah, this is a real honor for the company, and again, it shows uh, that uh, we really do try to work on having a, just a, a really great place to work and a great culture for our people. Uh, we were honored this year to win this. It's a vote-in uh, type uh, situation. We had nothing to do with it, trying to promote it or anything, but it's done by the local newspaper, the Star Journal in Kansas City. So we're going to have some fun. I did a little homework on this, and I'm going to try to sell it right back to these folks. And you can tell me how good I did or what I meant. So this is a Swisher 66 commercial pro. Heavy duty machine here. Let's start in the back. Nestled between the heavy duty steel frame. Powder coated in the house. Is this impressive 24 horsepower 726 cc V-twin Kawasaki motor. Electric start by the way. Rear and front hitch. We've got integrated storage. Cold snack holder. We've also got, obviously, the legendary 66-inch mower deck here, 11-gauge steel. This one here has three blades, the Gator Mulch Blades, G6, I believe, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm just nailing this. My favorite part, standing on this all-steel deck, by the way, is these ergonomic 9000s right here. Forget those clumsy, high-maintenance lap bars. These guys run the whole machine right here, and I heard a rumor at full throttle the soundtrack to Top Gun plays. Not sure. But instead of shaking and rattling up here, guys' arms could be nice and relaxed. Less fatigue, easy to operate. And the cherry on the top. If you want to wheel this around your house, you get a three-year warranty. You want to buy it? What's the price? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Adjustable deck height with the quick release on the in case you need to jump a curve. I don't know what that is. Okay. How does that work? So if I come up to, I, I can adjust my deck to whatever height I want to continuously mow at through my adjustable here. Right. However, if I come upon an obstacle, tree trunk, yep. something I don't want the deck all the way down, I can jam this all the way down. Just slam your paw on there. Jump, the jump on the seat. Uh, and step on her? Yep. See? I'll be dipped. So like a rock or a mm -hmm. curb or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We thought everything. So <laughs> you can basically just off-road this thing. And... Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Right here I've got your emergency brake system. So it will have to be safety features. Okay. It does have to be both handles up. To start. To start. Both handles down. To move. To move. However, if I need to freewheel it, I'm just in the garage. I just need to bump it out of the way. Just one? Just one. That's your hydro bypass? That's your hydro uh, So that it's, you've disconnected your transmission, so it will move now, so you can do that. But in order to start, I do have to have both sides of the machine, so your hands are totally out of the way. That is really smart. So. So you got to hold the key and push the button. Correct. Guy can't monkey around with this rig. No. You got to be safe. You got to be I careful. I like that. Here's that front hitch system. Yep. Really smart. Pull up to... You got to move some equipment around or a little trailer. We're just talking that aluminium trailer I have is going to be plenty fine back here on this hitch. Haul around stuff we like that. To make it too, so nobody gouges the trees up and, and landscaping and things like that. Yeah. So we put the you know try yeah. to protect have some protection all the way around. Yeah, the anti scout plus this yeah. here that's really smart. So you can see the finished product of the deck. We saw these basically as a sheet, get folded, welded, powder coated. Assembled. Those are actually molded then when these are molded because it's, it takes so much abuse and this stuff, nothing will really stick to it. So we tried to do decals at first and we just weren't happy with it. So we figured out a way with a maker to have those actually molded in. <laughs> wow. The seat slides, the back tilts, the armrests are adjustable, plus it has weight adjustment. It's a sprung seat. Pretty incredible. They've pretty much thought of everything. I can't think of anything else you'd want on this machine, to be honest. Okay, so again, we've got the Kawasaki power plant on this. This is our four-wheeled rough cut model, okay? 44 inch width cutting deck. Pretty well, did do up to three inch in diameter. Scott was saying if you could pull it over it, it's gonna cut it pretty much. Yep, that's accurate. Pretty well, pretty well. I saw some impressive videos of this thing knocking down limbs and just mulching them up. Does have the toolless offset adjustment. Pivot it behind in two right stages. Too. And when you're storing it in your garage, since Becky's talking about the hitch, 
if you fold this piece around, this hitch will completely pivot in on itself so the hitch is not in your way when you're storing in your garage. Oh. It holds up for compact nice. barn, garage, or Yeah, so when you take a trip, you know, tow them to that. Yeah, these are huge tires. Wow. Those tires are really good for the, uh, you get into kind of wet, soft ground. I was looking at this. This is pretty neat. So you put this on your tow rig, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's your, what do we got on that? Okay. So we've got your key start. Is right. electric start. Here's your clutch and your throttle. So it's mm -hmm. hook it up, throw that on your tow rig, and away yep. you go. Yep. yep. That easy. Now that looks like a Ghostbuster machine. <laughs> <laughs> they put their back in the Ghostbuster <laughs> machine? Oh, yeah, the ectoplasm catcher. <laughs> yes. Yes. Up. And you got a nice shield and guard around the engine and everything here. Battery. Yeah, we try to protect all of our wiring and batteries, all of that. The batteries, the fuel, everything's yeah. yep. protected. So, I mean, this thing is really made to pull through some it's stuff. Great. This is really neat here to adjust the height. Basically, these come in and just connect in the middle. So they kind of, I don't know, scissor, cantilever, something like that. All you got to do is crank this, and up and down you go. And then you store that back so you're pulling it through stuff. This is one heavy duty machine right here. Batteries right down in here. And you got the thumb screws right here. Get down into that guy. And we saw these decks as well, folded but not welded yet. So that's the finished product, what they look like there when they're done. So here we have the finish cut mower. You want to walk us through this one? This does have the adjustable offset hitch, so I can put it behind my tow vehicle or my riding mower. All offset right. it, double my cutting width. Get my yard done twice as fast. Really cool. So this pops out, mm -hmm. comes in over Slides here. In over there. Yeah. Just that easy. Yep. So that's what basically. I can set it either position. I'm walking in front of you. Oh, you can kick it out on this side too. Yep, sure can. And this has a floating deck design, it looks it like, of some kind. Deck height adjustment is in three spots. You get one on the back corner of each deck and one in the center. This also has the 14 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine on it. We did want to stay with the theme there. We do have the protected battery cover. Your key start is on the front. This is electric start too. Sure is. Wow. Blade engage is your yellow handle. Okay. Yep. You just pull it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. This, this is the same 11 gauge steel deck here. Three blades. The three blades got the G6 blades on this as well. So this is going to create kind of that golf course sure does. glass looking lawn. Air, these are air filled, right? They are. That's a lot lighter than one would think, actually. Wow. You think you could drive this thing? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Should we let him try? Let's do it. Yeah. You want to take it for a rip? Yeah. No, I'll crash into the Give fence the or beans. something. Oh, it is really comfortable though. It is that very is comfortable. Really comfortable. There's more stuff in the front, but they're going to show us some more product to have back here. We should start with these. These look really cool. Okay, so this is our 24 inch walk behind rough cut. This will still do up to a two inch in diameter um, as far as brush goes. So saplings, Blackberry brambles, multiflora rose, a lot of that stuff it'll do. Uh, thistles. Look at the tires so on right these. Over. These are a left and right Chevron tire. This does have a five-speed transmission in it. Self-propelled? It, it is self-propelled. We do have five knocked out because it is way too much. Wow. But it, you do have the reverse and the four forward gears. So it'll drag you through pretty much anything. I like it that. It will. This is our 22 ton all electric. It is a dedicated one ton. 22 ton? 20, true 22 ton electric log splitter. What is happening? This yeah. is wild. You literally just plug it in. Plug it in. I, I am, my mind is bottled right now. I'm Still. not. Wow. Still a hydraulic system. Yep, so it is a true 
22 ton. That is really smart, actually. Yeah. What do we got here? This is our Roadbuster driveway grader. It says it does work off of a remote from a tow vehicle. Generally, people are using this behind a side by side. Okay. Or a UTV type application. Mm -hmm. Run it up and down their driveway. I could put some added weight in my trays. Yeah, cinder blocks or whatever. Get my teeth down. Brake drums, batteries. Absolutely. Got it. Absolutely. So this is a gravel box, but you've got chisel teeth or forks yep. or up here as well. I, yeah, I can set my teeth how deep I want to scrape and yeah. smooth out the gravel on the back side as we go. Oh yeah, I think I've seen I think I saw these plates you did. being made, yeah. Yeah. Big walk behind unit here. This is our interchangeable Versa system. So right you've got the Honda powered motor assembly, tractor part of this. With the interchangeable, right now this has a 31 inch rough cut deck on it. Okay. Okay. I'm I following. can interchange that with the finished cut deck. No. You could, take, you could take that off yes, and just hook Put that, that right up. On. That is smart. Yep. Oh, I see the picture there. Yep. Sure yep. enough. All right. I'm going to So basically, you, you buy the one, we'll call it a tractor, mm -hmm. and then you just get the different assemblies mm -hmm. for it. Got your adjustable deck height. Got your safety features. Does this go on it too? I can also interchange it for a plow blade. That's a one-stop shop kind yes, of item is. right there. Yes, it is. All season. Very cool. Yep. Oh, here's some history. What year is this guy? <laughs> this, as near as we can tell, this is probably late 40s, early 50s. It's got a Tecumseh. It wow. does have a Tecumseh on it. This is a working model. This is one of the original. It runs, huh? It does. Wow. Yes. That is cool. I'm going to make some noise for just a minute. <laughs> that is cool. This was a two speed. So for high or low gear. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, I see. That neat. Technology for the day. Wow. And then just a little chain with the spring for yeah. resistance. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. There's another one in the other building. Uh, it looked like a push mower. It was. Late 50s or something. This very cool. The original zero turn mower. In order to go backwards, um, you turned the wheel all the way back to I'll yourself. Oh, be dipped. And Swisher, Max Swisher invented the first zero turn mower. So Here. Swisher also makes these, these uh, safety shelters or... You can call them a bunker or a safe house. Or... Safe house. Yeah. Safe room, safe house, tornado shelter. That's what we want with emergency security preparedness. It's very cool. It covers all different aspects. I like the sliding door yeah. rather so than the hinge. Yeah. That makes sense. Very nice. And then I think I saw on your website you can get seats and gun racks and shelves and all sorts of stuff. All sorts right? of accessories. We've got it set up right here right now. You use this thing to take the holds out and you can go through here. Oh, wow. Or you can put that panel, you know, in the yeah. back or wherever, but yeah. Yeah, just Obviously, not against the wall. That's what those were. I thought they were for loading, but they're venting, uh -huh. but they're shielded vents. Exactly. This latch is nice. Latch, unlatch, and a lock. They have yeah, a... That's a medical lock that banks and, you know, just, it's the best lock you can buy. Oh, and you, you pin it. it. They yeah. have another one of these in the other area with all the stuff in it, too. Oh, they do? Uh -huh. Maybe should, I should go look at that one. We should send you the video of Texas Tech where it was tested. They were taking uh, 20 foot 2 by 4s and shooting them at it at over 200 miles an hour. Ours is the only above ground non concrete shelter that's one of the 2 by 4s. Uh, oh, we can see it right here. Yeah, it was exactly blowing right the 2 by 4s up. So here's another one they got with a few more options in it. So we've got the benches, we've got some shelving, we got a rack. So here's the deal Elton and I got chatting and we have a lot of the same backgrounds. We're both from the Midwest. We enjoy each other's values. You know, it's just, it's a good match. And I'm actually gonna be partnering up with these guys and they're sending me home with a 66 inch zero turn, a rough cut and a finish mower. So we're gonna be loading this stuff up. I'm super grateful. And you guys are gonna be seeing it a lot. We're gonna take this home, put it through the paces right away. Of course, also we've got the finish mower. We'll be hooking that on right away as well. And also that rough cut that you saw back there. So we'll be putting these pieces up on the trailer here and uh, getting them loaded down. 
That's going to do it for this episode though, but stay tuned. We're going to put all of this straight away to work as soon as we get back to Tennessee. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks to Swisher Inc. Awesome folks. I can't say enough about them. Make sure to check those guys out. And thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time.